2 Samuel chapter 10. David defeats Ammon and Syria. After this, the king of the Ammonites died, and Hanun, his son, reigned in his place. And David said, I will deal loyally with Hanun, the son of Nahash, as his father dealt loyally with me. So David sent by his servants to console him concerning his father. And David's servants came into the land of the Ammonites. But the princes of the Ammonites said to Hanun, their lord, Do you think, because David has sent comforters to you, that he is honoring your father? Has not David sent his servants to you to search the city and to spy it out and to overthrow it? So Hanun took David's servants and shaved off half the beard of each and cut off their garments in the middle at their hips and sent them away. When it was told David, he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Remain at Jericho until your beards have grown, and then return. When the Ammonites saw that they had become a stench to David, the Ammonites sent and hired Syrians at Beth Rehob, and the Syrians of Zobah, 20,000 foot soldiers, and the king of Maka with 1,000 men, and the men of Tob, 12,000 men. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the host of the mighty men. And the Ammonites came out and drew up in battle array at the entrance of the gate, and the Syrians of Zobah and at Re of Rehob, and the men of Tob and Maka were by themselves in the open country. When Joab saw that the battle was set against him, both in front and in the rear, he chose some of the best men of Israel and arrayed them against the Syrians. The rest of his men he put in charge of Abishai, his brother, and he arrayed them against the Ammonites. And he said, If the Syrians are too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the Ammonites are too strong for you, and I will come and help you. Be of good courage, and let us be courageous for our people, for the cities of our God, and may the Lord do what seems good to him. So Joab and the people who were with him drew near to battle against the Syrians, and they fled before him. And when the Ammonites saw that the Syrians fled, they likewise fled before Abishai and, and entered the city. Then Joab returned from fighting against the Ammonites and came to Jerusalem. But when the Syrians saw that they had been defeated by Israel, they gathered themselves together, and Hadadezer sent and brought out the Syrians who were behind the Euphrates. They came to Helam, with Shobak, the commander of the army of Hadadezer, at their hand. And when it was told David, he gathered all Israel together and crossed the Jordan and came to Helam. The Syrians arrayed themselves against David and fought with him. And the Syrians fled before Israel, and David killed, all, killed of the Syrians the men of 700 chariots and 40,000 horsemen, and wounded Shobach, the commander of their army, so that he died there. And when all the kings who were servants of Hadadezer saw that they had been defeated by Israel, they made peace with Israel and became subject to them. So the Syrians were afraid to save the Ammonites anymore. First Chronicles chapter 19. The Ammonites disgrace David's men. Now after this, Nahash the king of the Ammonites died, and his son reigned in his place. And David said, I will deal kindly with Hanun the son of Nahash, for his father dealt kindly with me. So David sent messengers to console him concerning his father. And David's servants came to the land of the Ammonites, to Hanun, to console him. But the princes of the Ammonites said to Hanun, Do you think, because David has sent comforters to you, that he is honoring your father? Have not his servants come to you to search and to overthrow and to spy out the land? 
So Hanun took David's servants and shaved them and cut off their garments in the middle at their hips and sent them away, and they departed. When David was told concerning the men, he sent messengers to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Remain at Jericho until your beards have grown, and then return. When the Ammonites saw that they had become a stench to David, Hanun and the Ammonites sent 1,000 talents of silver to hire chariots and horsemen from Mesopotamia, from Aram, Makkah, and from Zobah. They hired 32,000 chariots and the king of Makkah with his army, who came and encamped before Medeba. And the Ammonites were mustered from their cities and came to battle. When David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the army of the mighty men. And the Ammonites came out and drew up in battle array at the entrance of the city, and the kings who had come were by themselves in the open country. Ammonites and Syrians defeated. When Joab saw that the battle was set against him both in the front, both in front and in the rear, he chose some of the best men of Israel and arrayed them against the Syrians. The rest of his men he put in charge of Abishai, his brother, and they were arrayed against the Ammonites. And he said, If the Syrians are too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the Ammonites are too strong for you, then I will help you. Be strong and let us use our strength for our people and for the cities of our God, and may the Lord do what seems good to him. So Joab and the people who were with him drew near before the Syrians for battle, and they fled before him. And when the Ammonites saw that the Syrians fled, they likewise fled before Abishai, Joab's brother, and entered the city. Then Joab came to Jerusalem. But when the Syrians saw that they had been defeated by Israel, they sent messengers and brought out the Syrians who were beyond the Euphrates, with Shopach, the commander of the army of Hadadezer, at their head. And when it was told to David, he gathered all Israel together and crossed the Jordan and came to them, and drew up his forces against them. And when David set the battle in array against the Syrians, they fought with him. And the Syrians fled before Israel, and David killed of the Syrians the men of 7,000 chariots and 40,000 foot soldiers, and put to death also Shobach, the commander of their army. And when the servants of Hadadezer saw that they had been defeated by Israel, they made peace with David and became subject to him. So the Syrians were not willing to save the Ammonites anymore. Psalm 20. Trust in the name of the Lord our God. To the choir master, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send to you send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O Lord, save the King. May he answer us when we call.